guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make bitter leaf soup also called ofeo nubu um in Igbo land i'm going to quickly run through the ingredients i'm going to be using for this recipe and i'm going to be using um gizzard this is turkey gizzard i've cooked and grilled it which is really really nice i'm also going to be using turkey neck which is good i'm going to be using um cocoa yam this cocoa yam will need to be cooked and i'm going to match it later i'm also going to be using um a body popularly known as um, um cow intestine i'm going to be using some our body i've got some dried catfish here which i bought from the market i'm going to be using dried catfish i'm going to be using um cow foot here called um i'm going to be using cow foot air which is also very interesting a bokoto it's called bokoto i'm going to be using um cow skin here which is called pomo um cow tripe which is called shaki um also i've got good some goat meat here that i'm going to be using um i've got palm oil so this is 250 ml of palm oil i'm going to be using i've got one teaspoon which is um 15 ml of uh um crayfish i'm going to be using that this is granated no i'm going to be using scotch bonnets um ogiri i mean if you don't add ogiri then the Ubo people are going to kill you in their food this is ogiri which is called iru from the yoruba side um, the Ubo call it ogiri also i'm going to be using stockfish i've soaked this stockfish in water i'm going to be using that uh got my bitter leaf yeah i'm going to be using bitter leaf rock salt of course we need some salt but well, in my case i'm going to be using rock salt i've got dry pepper here and i've also got the stock from my turkey when i was cooking it um so this is the stock using some of it now this is my grilled turkey i am going to be using grilled turkey now um quickly we're just going to go and i'm going to show you when and how to add all these things to give you a fantastic bitter leaf soup to start with you want to make sure you have enough water in the pot I'm going to pour my shaki there. My cow foot, which is also called bokoto, I'll pour that into the water there. I'm also going to pour my cow intestine. I'm going to pour my cow intestine, which is called uh, cow intestine, which is called body. I'm going to pour that into the water. I'm also going to pour my cow skin, which is called awero. So I'm going to pour my cow skin in the water. So I'm going to just cut my onions. There we go, that's my onions into it. I'm going to know. And you see, I found that in the market, which is kind of very interesting. It saves you from breaking the cubes. I'm going to pour that. Um, I've just poured 15 ml of um, the no into that. So that's 15 ml of no pepper. So I'm going to add my dry pepper into it. I want everything to cook from scratch because the good stir which i'm going to stir that's it stirring i'm also going to then add my salt my rock salt which is um, i've added which is um one teaspoon of rock salt i'm also going to add remember my stockfish i'm going to add my stockfish into that i've soaked that the last thing i'm also going to add is my goat meat because i'm using a pressure cooker i don't have to cook it separately so i'm going to just add my goat meat in there Again, I'm just going to use, again, I'm going to just tear to make sure that everything is well distributed. And then I'm going to cover my pressure cooker to cook. Thank you very much. Let me for 45 minutes now. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to turn the, um, turn off the heat. Let me just see if it's really soft. So I'm just going to check. Um, wow this is really soft and that's exactly what i want so i'm going to be pounding this i'm going to be adding this later when i uh, when i finish pounding it let me just open it and we're just going to see what it looks like now wow okay so what i'm going to do just going to mix that that looks fantastic as you can see the meat is so soft now that even wow can you see this looks really really beautiful i'm gonna add my turkey i'm gonna also add my um turkey neck 
I'm going to add my my fish, which is the catfish, dried catfish. I'm going to also add my grilled turkey gizzard. I'm going to add some palm oil, which is 300 and 250 ml of palm oil. I'm going to add 250 ml of palm oil, which is good. Add my crayfish. I'm gonna add my ugimi, which is the iru. The reason why I'm adding everything to it because I'm just gonna cook it now. And last but not the least, I'm gonna add my my pepper. And my I'm gonna add my pepper, my scotch bonnet. Going to rinse it and just add more water to the mixture. What we're going to then do, just add some more water. stock remember my turkey I told you I, I have this turkey stock you don't have to add this if you don't have it but I'm just gonna add that right because you've added water you might want to add one tablespoon of I'm gonna add one tablespoon of um, the no chicken because I've added more water just to just and that's it what I need to do now is just to stir again and allow this to cook for 15 minutes and at least after 15 minutes then I'm going to then add my my um, cocoa yam my match cocoa yam that I've actually pounded but I'm just gonna check wow see how nice and lovely that is into the soup and trust me it's going to just dissolve it's really just going to dissolve okay that's it we're looking at probably in the next probably five to ten minutes everything should have dissolved in the stew in the soup you can see everything is really looking nice and what we're making is bitter leaf soup Give for seven minutes now so I'm just gonna check Wow! you can see everything is dissolved in there that's interesting all the kokoyama has been dissolved and you can see the soup I'm just gonna taste that quickly fantastic so it's at this point that you're gonna add your bitter leaf now note of warning if you want to add your bitter leaf because bitter leaf both the dry and um, the fresh one are very bitter so the dry one is what I'm going to be using soak this in water water then I will rinse it and wash it up to four to five times just to make sure I get most of the bitterness away so this is what I've got left um, this is what I have now as you can see so I'm just gonna pour that into the soup looks really nice so um, that's what I've got so I'm just gonna allow this to cook for three minutes and I'm going to serve it there we go um, 
the soup being served now and that is uh bitter leaf soup thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video